Hi everyone. Today you're going to be explaining your knowledge and understanding about climate change and we're going to be using Scratch for this demonstration. And hey, if you're new to coding or you need a refresher on Scratch, check out my Learn to Code videos on YouTube which will get you up to speed pretty quickly. You can follow me at Pekka Rainio and I suggest that you subscribe because we'll be uploading videos weekly and monthly. So anyways, let's get on to our project. So I'm already at the Scratch site. I'm going to click create because we're creating a brand new demonstration today. If a tutorial pops up here, you can just exit the tutorial because I'm doing the tutorial today. And we're going to say goodbye to the cat. So I'm going to hit the garbage can and goodbye cat. Hey, we're going to get a background and um, something that goes with our, our theme of climate change. So the background I'm going to get is called blue sky. And we're going to get a character to do some of the explaining for us. So the character I'm going to choose is Avery. I like Avery. You can choose whichever character you like. So I'm just going to put Avery down here in the bottom corner. I'm also now going to get an earth and a ball, which is going to represent our atmosphere. You're going to see how that works in a minute. So look, I'm just going to go down to the sprites. I'm going to click on planet or earth, whatever it was called. Let's see where it is here. Earth right there. Wonderful. I'm also going to get the sprite called ball. And it's going to be the yellow ball right there. So there's that one. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ball up here and I'm going to make it a lot bigger. Maybe uh, let's try 300%. Good. I'm going to put the earth inside the ball just like that. Now it looks like the earth is there with an atmosphere around it. And I'm also going to code the ball to spin. Watch how I do this. So I'm going to go to green uh, flag let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see it when the green flag is clicked i want the ball the atmosphere to turn 15 degrees and just do that forever and it'll look like the atmosphere is moving so let's test that out ready green flag and go wonderful it's a little bit off center i'm just going to go to the uh costume and to center the ball a bit around that maybe like that that might work better Okay, you don't have to do that, but I'm going to do that. I'd just like it to be just right. Oh, now it's way off center. Oh my, I really messed it up here. So maybe down like that. There, and green flag. Good, I'm just going to move that earth there, and nice. So now it looks like there's an atmosphere around our earth that's moving, which there really is an atmosphere moving. Hey, now we're going to put in a title. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to hit the paintbrush. I'm going to choose a nice color that goes with my background, maybe a dark purple or something like that might be nice, or dark blue. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to click on the T for text, and I'm going to put a simple title called Climate Change. Like that. And I'm just going to highlight it because I'm going to use a different font. I like a different font. For this one, I'm going to use marker. You could choose whichever one you want. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger like that. Perfect. Center it. Nice, and I'm going to move this over. So, I've got my title. I've got my character Avery, who's going to be doing some talking for us. I've got a background, which I chose, called Blue Sky. You can choose whatever background you want. I also have the Earth and our atmosphere, and our atmosphere is spinning. And there's the code for the atmosphere. It's pretty simple. Just turn 15 degrees forever and ever. Now, we're going to have Avery explain what's happening in our demonstration. So, I'm going to go to Avery, and I'm going to click... Um, when green flag is clicked, we're going to find that one. When green flag is clicked, let me make it a bit bigger so you can see it there at school or at home. <clears throat> when the green flag is clicked, I want Avery to say a few things to explain about this project. So you're going to be talking in the place of Avery. So let's say first thing I'm going to put down, our earth is warming uh, dangerously or rapidly might also work. And I'm going to talk, have her say that for three seconds because no one can read it that quickly. Our Earth is warming dangerously. Now I'm going to have her say something else to explain a little bit about climate change for those people who don't know much about it. Um, burning fossil fuels heats up our planet. I'll have her say that for three seconds as well. Thank you for your patience. I'm almost done this part. And last thing, what to do in our game. So in our game, you're going to click the letters A, B, C, D, E, F to learn more about climate change. So look, click on the letters of the alphabet to learn more. I hope people understand what that means. And I'll have that for three seconds. Let me just test that out. Ready? Green flag. Our Earth is warming dangerously. 
Burning fossil fuels heats up our planet. Click on the letters of the alphabet to learn more. Now, when people click on letters of the alphabet, Avery is going to say something and an image is going to appear to support what she's talking about. So, for example, look, um, I'm going to go to the control uh, or events, I should say. When the space key is pressed, I'm just going to drag that down there. And instead of space key, we're going to start with the letter A. When the letter A is pressed, Avery is going to say something about climate change. Watch what I'm going to have her say. So I'm going to go to the looks. I'm going to grab that one. And I'm going to have her say something like this. Cars burn a lot of fossil fuels. And I'm going to have her say that for four seconds so everyone has a chance to read it. So look, when the letter A is pressed, Avery is going to say, Cars burn a lot of fossil fuels. Let's just double check to make sure that, we're sure that works. Ready? Oh, she's talking for a second. Great. Okay. Now I'm going to press the letter A. Ready? Letter A. Look, she says, cars burn a lot of fossil fuels. Perfect. Now look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the sprites button and I'm going to go get a car. So there's a few cars to choose from. I like this one, so I'm going to click that one. It's a little bit small for the screen. I'm just going to move it down there. And I'm going to make it not 100, but maybe 200%. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that's okay. Right there. Perfect. And I'm going to line it up on the ground. So now, when Avery says, cars burn a lot of fossil fuels, I want that car to appear. So look how I'm going to code the car. I'm on the car right now. And I'm going to get... Um, when the space key is pressed, but I'm going to change it to the letter A. So when the letter A is pressed, because remember, Avery is talking about the cars when you press the letter A. See, there's Avery. When you press A, she says cars burn a lot of fossil fuels. So when she says A, or when someone clicks A, I want the car to appear. So when the A key is pressed, um, um, I'm going to go to the looks. I want the car to show itself. Show. And I wanted to uh, wait for four seconds to show itself for four seconds. I think there's the control right there. Wait for four seconds and then hide. So while Avery is talking about cars burning fossil fuels for four seconds, the car shows itself for four seconds and then it hides. Let's just test this again. Ready? Green flag. Okay, there's Avery talking. Oh, no, look. The car is sitting right there. I don't want the car to be there right now. I only want it to appear when you press the letter A. So I'm going to stop. Um, when the green flag is clicked, I want the car to hide. So green flag. I want the car to hide. So we're almost done. Thanks for your patience. Okay, so green flag. Good. There's no car. Avery's talking, explaining about climate change and fossil fuels. She's done. Now I'm going to click the letter A. She should be talking about cars and a picture of a car should appear. Ready? I'm going to click on the letter A right now. Wonderful. So there's her talking about cars and there's a picture of the car and they both disappear. Perfect. It's not a lot of coding at all and um, it looks really good. Let me do one more example for you. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to get a, a sprite of a tree. And there's a couple of trees for you to choose from. Um, I like this tree right there. I'm going to move that tree over right there. And I'm going to have Avery talk about the tree. So I'm on the Avery sprite right now. I'm going to get when the letter B is pressed. So it's a space bar. Let me just move this up a little bit so you can see. When the letter B is pressed, Avery is going to say something about trees. So look what she's going to say. I'm going to grab this from the looks button right there. She's going to say... We need a lot more trees to absorb carbon dioxide. And I'm going to have her say that for four seconds. So when the letter B is pressed, Avery is going to say, We need a lot more trees to absorb carbon dioxide. Now look how I'm going to code the tree. So when the green flag is clicked, the tree is going to hide because it's only going to show when Avery's talking about the tree. So when the green flag is clicked, the tree is going to hide and hide is in the looks but it's down at the bottom. And then when the letter B is pressed, it's going to show itself. So when the letter B is pressed, I'm going to go to the looks button. I'm going to grab show. 
wait for four seconds. She's always talking for four seconds in my video. Wait for four seconds <clears throat> and then hide. So let's test that out. Ready? There's the letter A. Perfect. Oh, no, I didn't press a green flag. There, green flag. Now everything's disappeared. Avery's talking about fossil fuels and our warming planet. I'm going to click on the letter A for the car. Let's see if that works again. Yep, she's talking about cars. There's the picture of the car. Now the letter B, she should be talking about trees. Wonderful, she's talking about trees and there's a picture of a tree appearing. Okay, so now that we've done the car and the tree, your task now is to do as many letters of the alphabet as you can with as many sprites as possible. So A was for the car, B was for the tree, maybe C is going to be for a polar bear, maybe D is going to be for a bus, maybe E is going to be for insects or a grasshopper, maybe F is going to be for tall buildings, maybe G is going to be for elephants. So you need to figure out something for Avery to talk about for climate change and code it so that when she's talking about an object or, a, or an item or a concept a picture appears to support it for example when she talks about um, cars a picture of a car appears when she talks about a tree a tree appears so your job now is to do as many more um, letters of the alphabet as you can and explain to your teacher as much as you can about climate change anyways if you get stuck please go back to my code and um, um, and I look forward to seeing you at our next video. Thanks. I hope you enjoyed that one.